I'm sure you've seen from the title that I am going to be answering SQL interview questions. So these are going to be technical questions and I'm going to jump straight into it. No intro, no nothing. So I hope you like this video and the next ones. I don't know how many videos I'm going to make out of this because I do want to break it up so you don't have to watch a 50 minute video of me writing SQL queries. And I know for a fact that AI can do all of this, but think about it this way. Who would you rather hire? Someone who knows how to code in SQL and use AI to write prompts to do this quicker and more efficiently, or someone who hasn't got a clue about SQL and can learn to write the prompts. I would for sure hire the person who actually knows how to code in SQL. So with that out of the way, I have 10 questions to go through, starting with question number one. What is the total sales amount in USD and the total quantity sold for each product family? And before we can answer this question, I'll walk you through the tables that we'll be using. So we have the plants dimension and we also have the plants fact table. So let me go through the fact table first. It contains product ID, sales, quantity, price, cost of goods sold, date, country code, account, master ID, account ID, latitude, longitude, country, postal code, street name, and street number. And then the plants dimension table contains product family, product family ID, group, group ID, name ID, and size and type. And the product ID is going to be the field we're going to be joining the fact table and the dimension table on. So product ID right here. I'm using Google BigQuery because it's free, or at least this is the free version of Google BigQuery. You don't have to spend any money and then you can run your SQL queries in the cloud. So with this out of the way, um, let me actually just write a very, very simple query, select everything from the fact table, I'll limit this to five rows of data, and then you can see exactly what's happening here. So this is the table that we have, and then I can do the same for the dimension table. Let me open up an SQL query editor window, limit this to whatever, 20 rows. Let me run my query, and then this is our dimension table. All right, so question number one, what is the total sales amount in USD and the total quantity sold for each product family? So I started a little note section here and you can just uh, do multi-line comments using forward slash star and then you need to end it with star and forward slash or asterisk and forward slash. So we need total sales amount, total quantity sold for each product family. So let me start a select statement and then we'll need from so let me do the join first. So we'll need plants. And the way I have to refer to my table as plants dot plants fact, I'll give it an alias of let's say F. Oh, not F foreign key, just F. Uh, F if it lets me do that. There we go. And then join plants dot plants dim as D. And I'm going to be joining on F dot product ID is equal to D dot product ID. So the reason I have to refer to my table this way is because in BigQuery, first you create your project, then you have a specific data set within your project and my data set name is plants. And then within the plants data set, you can see here that I have two tables, plants dim and plants fact. So this is how I referred to my tables. So we'll need product family because we want to know the sales and the quantity sold for each product family. That's number one. We'll also need some of the sales and we have the column sales USD. So let me select that as well. F dot sales USD. And then as I'll call this total sales, we'll also need some of the quantity. So we have a quantity USD column, quantity USD as I'll call this total uh, quantity there we go. And uh, after this, we're going to have to group by the product family because we want to know these for each product family. And then in the end, let me just uh, order by the total sales in a descending order. And then if this works, we answered our question. 
There we go, and this does work. Now, you don't always have to hit the run button. If you just wanna run a select piece of code, you select your code and then hit control or command and enter, and you will only run that piece of code. So that's question number one answered. Moving on, question number two. For each country, which are the top three products by total sales amount and what is their rank within that country? And I have a note to self here because um, I know for a fact that I cannot use a window function directly within the having clause in BigQuery. So knowing this, I'm gonna use a CTE, which stands for common table expression. So we need for each country, the top three product by sales, and we need to rank those sales within each country, which is the category. So how do we do this? The way you start writing a CTE, a common table expression, is with the with clause. Then you give your table name. So I'm gonna call this ranked sales. And then you use the keyword as, and then you start writing whatever you want to. So I'm gonna select, we need, uh, I believe, country code and product ID country code and the product ID, yep. So I will select, not in all caps, country code product ID. Um, I will need the sum of sales USD as well. I'll call this total sales again, just to keep it consistent. And now we're gonna use a window function to rank those sales within specific countries. So rank over, this is just the syntax you have to use. And then we need to partition by, partition by what? The country code, because we wanna group by the countries. And then we need to order by, and I'm gonna order by the sum of sales USD. And I need to do this in descending order because I want the top three products by sales. And I'm gonna call this column as, um, sales rank maybe yeah i'll call it sales rank and then i need to select this data from somewhere so i'm selecting it from plants dot plants fact and then i need to group by the country code and the product id basically the fields that appear in the select statement okay yep and now we have our CT right here. And now I can just select from this table. So I will select country code and product ID and total sales and sales rank where the sales, oh, from first, I need to select this from a table, rank the sales where the sales rank is less than or equal to three. And I think this should work. So I can select my code and then press control or command enter and then run my code. And there you go. You can see I have country code AR and then these are the top three products by sales. And then I have AS and then I have my top three products by sales. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three within that specific country. There we go. So that's question number two answered. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. The dataset links are there as well, along with the link to Data Analysis Lab and the link to my newsletter and 50 projects in 90 days. So make sure you check them out. Please do, because I teach more of this stuff in a lot more detail. So if you like this, you're definitely gonna like what you find using the links in the description below. Time to move on to question number three. How much total sales in USD were generated in 2023 for outdoor products versus indoor products? So let me write some comments first because it always helps me. So we need sales in USD in 2023 and it's gonna be outdoor versus indoor products. Now what I'm gonna do here is a combination of sum and case to do a quick count. So let me select, uh, well actually, first of all, let me just write the join. I know I will need the join because I have my product type, which can be indoor or outdoor. Let me just find it 
right here. So for product types, I can have, well, first I only have the indoors here, but I can have indoor or outdoor. So let me select distinct product uh, type. Uh, I don't have to limit this query. Let me just run my query. Oh, I have uh, indoor, landscape, and outdoor. So actually, I have three product types. So I'm looking for the total sales in USD for outdoor products versus indoor products. So I will need both tables. So the way to do this is going to be doing a join on plants.plants.fact as F. And then, ugh, I hate it when it does this, as F, and then... I will do a join plants.plants dim as d on on f dot product id is equal to d dot product id. Okay, so this is our join. And then within the select statement, I'm going to be using sum and then case. So I'll say case when. And then I need the D dot product type. Yep. If it's equal to, and then let me just go back to the query I wrote. So we have outdoor and indoor. So if this is equal to outdoor, then give me the actual sales. F dot sales USD. Else give me zero and let me end my case statement. And I can call this column outdoor sales 2023 because I will filter on the year later. And then let me just copy and paste this down. And now I'll do the same. The only thing I'll change is instead of outdoor, now I'm getting indoor. So indoor, I'll call this um, indoor sales 2023, I have the join, so I have indoor versus outdoor, I have the sales in USD, what am I missing? 2023. Let me put in a where clause, and then I will use the extract function. So I'm extracting the year from, and I do have a date column somewhere here, right here. So extract year from the date where it's equal to 2023. And that should work unless I get an error message, which I did not. So let me run this code. And there we go. I end up with two numbers. And this is outdoor sales versus indoor sales in 2023.